Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can link your project data to an Excel template. And the way I'm going to do it is go on to Reports and Visual Reports. Now if I click on Visual Reports, you've got options at the top here just to show Excel and Visio, or if I just take that tick off Visio, it'll just show the Excel reports. So you can see that I've already created a template myself there. These are the preloaded templates that you can have. And under resource summary, I've just, re just created that. But I'm going to create a new template and click on new template to show you how this works. So if I select Excel, it's based on resource summary. So I'm, I'm dealing with resources, really. But you've got other options in there that you could select. You've also got options if you want to remove some of the preset fields that you might not want to see it might be too much information because what's going to happen is i'm going to leave that as default okay this will create a a microsoft excel pivot table if you're not too sure about pivot tables it might be a bit a bit difficult to get your head around it but hopefully after this video you should be able to i'll click okay and then it's going to generate that report now a pivot table basically has fields. So these are all those fields that I was talking about in the field picker. So quite a lot actually. You've got a big list there. You've got resources. So I'm going to tick that on. That gives me a list of all my resources. Now I don't want unassigned and I don't want that. I just actually want the people. So click OK to that and that drops that in. Now under type, if you click on type, it's just got whether the work or material cost, I'm not interested in that either. So now it's a case of picking out the fields that you want to see. So work, that's work. Now you've got remaining work there. That's a good one to have. So it gives you the remaining work. Now this is dropping fields. I'm ticking these boxes and it's dropping them where it thinks it should go. So if I put values, for example, over there, now that I like that better, so I'm going to leave that like that. That's what pivot table is. You just manipulate the data like so. If I scroll up there, let's get baseline work, baseline work, that one. So that's the baseline. I've already saved a baseline in, in project. And I think that'll do actual work. Let's go for that one as well. So we've got four columns, actual work, slightly different. So all these figures are slightly different. Now with the pivot table, the top here, you've got pivot table analyze. You can get yourself a little pivot chart and then I'll just pick the default one. So that gives you a, a little pivot chart of all this data. And if it's too much information there, you can just take some of these ticks off and leave, leave just a few ticks on. It's totally up to you. Now, if I just save this, I'm going to save this as a template. So when I click on save, I'll call this um, Steve's Resources. Steve's Resources. It's going in the Templates folder, and that means it'll be available to open up in Excel as well. So if I save that, it's saying, do you want me to save this as a template and basically clear the external data? So every time I open this in Project, it will regenerate this file. I was going to say yes to that. So I'm just looking at 76 work. 46 remaining work, actual work and uh, baseline work and actual work. So what I'll do is I'll close this down and I'll make some changes and just close this. Now, when I open this again, that report will be in there. But what I'm just going to do now is just make some of all of these complete. Actually, I'll just do it. This is something I don't like to do, but for this demonstration, I will do. Just click on that. So everything is complete. So the report itself should have changed. If we go back to report and visual reports, now go to resource summary, and that template that I created is now sitting there, which I can run, and then the chart should pick up the changes. So remaining work zero, so it has changed actual work against the baseline work. So that's how you can set up a pivot table. Now, if you're really, really keen, you could go into the pivot table itself and I should have perhaps done this before you can change the layout of it uh, and mess about with the, the settings in the pivot table you can click on things 
and go into value field settings for example and change how things look if it's if it's not grayed out so this has got no calculation but then you can select that as a percentage of column total which i'll just try that one let's see what happens here so that's giving me a percentage of the column total so what you'd really do there is that was the work field so to get this to work properly you'd bring the work field down again i'm just going to drag that down so you have work that's the hours that's the percentage of total work and then you can if i right click on this you can just sort this so what i should have done first off is set all this up i'll go largest to smallest so that goes to the top did all this before i saved the template because this is like a copy of that original template so this says steve resources one that's a copy of it not the actual template so if i ran that report again in, in project up here it would be not showing not showing that so i should have done that beforehand but all this stuff at the top here design you've got different options on there to color things in if you want to for your table just to make it stand out uh, even on the um, chart design you can select a color scheme that you want just to make it stand out a bit better not that that does but there you go and then you would save this one as a normal excel file and it would be saved wherever else you save your files not part of a template so if i close that down so you've seen the changes i've made um, i will save it it's going to go in templates there so i need that to go into documents so it's going to save it in documents so i can come back to this but it's like a snapshot it's not updated i'm back into this now if i go into that again run that again it will open the original template which has not been changed so that's just the default one and it's saying steve resources again and then again you go through the process and save it over and over again but that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can link your project data into an excel pivot table and then manipulate the data in a pivot table and manage charts and things like that so hopefully this has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one